All right, so it was forced by the sheer weight of the reports coming in from hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people around this planet. It was forced to expand. They said, okay, maybe we didn't understand it all together, right? Maybe we just had part of it, and now we're going to get the rest of it. And what they were forced to face was that this agenda is far more complex than merely a degenerating alien race trying to upgrade their species because it didn't explain what was going on in bedrooms, in cars, in homes, around this planet night after night. Hopkins and Jacobs and others who had held to this crossbreeding scenario as a firmly fixed, limited agenda had to start expanding what they were saying. And soon they were postulating that the aliens were, were also studying human emotions. And they were also studying, maybe, well, it appears they're studying human sexuality. And by golly, it looks like they're studying human pleasure and pain responses as well from what the abductees are telling us is going on. And what do these things have to do with crossbreeding? Why do you subject a person to excruciating pain to measure a response in order to crossbreed? Why do you do, you do sexual molestation to a five-year-old to crossbreed? Why are these things happening and what do they have to do with this agenda we felt real confident that we had understood? People were being subjected to terrifying situations, excruciatingly painful procedures, traumatic sexual encounters over which they had no control and for which no acceptable explanation has yet to be given.